Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Property Management Show. Recently, it was announced that Four and Half Marketing Agency and Latchell are partnering up to produce PM Grow Summit 2022. Now, we know both these companies as advocates for small business success, and so we invited the CEOs of these companies for a quick chat. Michael, you were originally hired by Alex Osinanko, who, by the way, is one of the pioneers of property management marketing, um, to help advance the technological capabilities of four and a half. Now, fast forward three and a half years later, now you're the CEO. And Ethan, you are the CEO of Latchell. Your company has always been about leveraging the power of technology to extend and help all of the capabilities of small businesses. So Ethan, Michael, welcome to the show. Um, we're talking PM Grow Summit 2022. And to kick things off, I kind of want to let our audience um, understand why the focus of this upcoming conference um, is future of property management. Can you talk through why that's the focal point of the upcoming event and why it's relevant right now? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, well, Ethan, no, I'll go. So, uh, <laughs> uh, for me, I, I think it's I think it's a question that's on a lot of people's minds right now. Um, there's been a bunch of money coming in from prop tech, um, and that's creating a, a, a fair bit of volatil volatility inside the the um, industry. And I, I think it's driving some shifting in the industry, whether that's going to be, you know, consolidation or deeper investment on the part of individual property managers. I mean, I think all of us are wondering, you know, what's going to happen next. And so we thought, you know, uh, PM Grow would be a great place to bring everybody together um, and pose that question. And really, I think it centers on two things. It centers on, um, you know, people and relationships and how that's going to evolve going forward. And then also the future of technology. If I can expand to you off what Michael's saying, there's this kind of crazy combination of factors of uh, exactly what Michael has said, where you have this influx of money coming into property management and the greater prop tech space. And a lot of that's been inflated and um, the landscape has changed because of COVID and you have management companies looking to grow in this new environment. And it's actually fundamentally shifted the way we have to think about the future of the industry. And as these two factors combine, it becomes more and more important for property management companies to think more strategically about their growth and how they're gonna scale. And this conference will align everything so that these companies can come and learn exactly what the future of their industry, their business will have to look like to stay ahead. Nice. Yeah. As like a little bit of a teaser, maybe, what what do you both see for the future of property management? Michael, do you want to take that's a loaded question? There's so much you can say, right? There's so many directions you could go. Yeah, no, I and, and uh um you know I think I think it's multi-directional. I think that uh, you know we're going to continue to see, as you know, Ethan and I both talked about, this prop tech money is going to be changing things, and I think we're going to continue to see that. But I also think it's going to reciprocally, it's going to it's going to drive um, these small businesses, the property managers um, who have a strong foothold in their community, um, to be to be better and to figure out how how do I compete now? I don't want to be acquired. I, I want to stand my ground. And so, um, you know, how do I do that? How can I become more efficient? What kinds of technology can I put in place? What kind of network can I build with people and companies that's going to enable me to be um, just as efficient as, as a big VC company that has a bunch of money that they can throw or people and resources that they can throw um, at a problem? Um, so I think that um, that's also going to happen. And then I also think that people from the outside Witnessing both investment of wow, witnessing both was that Finley? Nice, no. So, no. so it was uh, Ethan's. Uh, that was oh. my dog. Yeah, a dog at any <laughs> you moment. You never know. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, I I think that um, there's also these people on the outside now looking in and go, 
you know, maybe property management's a, a way to go for me going forward. Like, what if I created a business? And I think there's even the possibility of things that I just don't think people would have imagined before, which is, you know, multi hundred, do hundred door companies that theoretically one person with a, with a sophisticated network, the right kind of relationships with the right kinds of people. Um, that doesn't seem inconceivable to me. I don't know, Ethan, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I think there's this, there's going to be this trend of um, management companies leveraging their technology and people in new ways, such that the actual operational overhead is going to be 10 times smaller than it would have had to have been just five years ago. And yeah, Michael, you're going to end up having these companies that are hundreds of units potentially run by you know, two two people, a staff of two, right? You yeah, don't have that that's right. founder, owner, and, you know, a, a assistant property manager or an assistant, and mm -hmm. they're able to run hundreds of doors. You're going to have companies that are just three to four employees running thousands of doors, and that's they're right. going to be far more margin profitable, and that's going to open up all kinds of opportunity for new ways to market their businesses, new ways to run the operation, new services they can expand to that's going to create a lot of opportunity in the space that's never existed before. Yeah, I think that's right. And I think then everything becomes a series of, of networked relationships, whether that's networked as in the technology that we all know, or networked with people and vendors and companies, right? And so there, so, so what's implicit in that is this need for these skill sets, both uh, technology adoption skill set and this ability to, you know, how do I work with people going forward? What are, what are my relationships? What's the dynamic involved? And that's kind of what's driving, I think, the, the way that we're thinking about this PM growth. Exciting stuff indeed. And so um, you guys were kind of touching on, you know, VC money and the VC backed companies. Um, and, you know, is that something that we're going to see uh, talked about at the conference? Well, Latchell is a venture-backed company. Now, we're not the typical venture-backed property management company because we actually work with property managers to help them grow, scale, create more efficient operations, create ancillary revenue streams and all that stuff. So um, well, I, I imagine you can put a lot of money on the bet that we'll be talking about how you scale in the same ways a venture-backed management company can and how you create great operations that are defensible that are going to create higher value companies if you're a small kind of medium business property manager and you didn't go take millions of dollars mm -hmm. right to launch your management company um and the the beautiful thing with the the where the industry is trending is a lot of the tools that vc backed managers have built in-house are actually f openly accessible to every management company, whether you're a hundred doors, a thousand doors, whether you're, you know, venture backed or not, but if you bootstrap your business, you can actually access the same operational efficiencies. And uh, it just comes back to what Michael is saying of that component of how do you utilize the technology? How do you create more efficient people? And what is that balance? What is that mix? So, uh, there'll be a lot of sessions about how that rolls up to building great businesses that grow quickly and can scale. Yeah, and I, I think just as Ethan was saying, Marie, I think um, you know the plan is that we're going to hear VC success stories, just like Latchell and others, you know, that that are making the industry better. And I think another thing that's happened is there's been a fair amount of prop tech investment with that, as with all of these that we've seen, these kind of investment trends. There's failure involved, but the failure also involves learning, learning. and information. And that involves, that's what creates that feeling of evolution. Now, smarter, you know, about the industry, where, where it should fit, where it doesn't fit, and that kind of thing. And you're going to hear about that at PM Grow. That's so exciting, right? So um, what do you think, why do you think a property manager should make sure to join this upcoming show? What makes it, you know, a must see or a must go this time? I, th I would say coming to PM Grow 2022 and not is going to be the difference between you achieving four times higher profitability, profitability in your business or not, 
And it's probably going to mean the difference between you being able to 10 X your growth rate over the next few years versus you stagnating in growth, running into a wall and thinking, why am I not growing my business and my revenues as fast as everybody else? Yeah, I really, I agree completely with, with what Ethan's saying. And, you know, we've talked about this over and over again. We really have set out to make this particular show a, a, a real difference maker, a, a, you know, um, a key point, right, in the, in the timeline or evolution of property management in the industry. You know, first PM Grow formed and it was this kind of, you know, uh, market maker or whatever. It had a little bit Game of this changer. halo effect game changer exactly and 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 really drew people to it to have these kinds of conversations and now we have a number of different opportunities to do that and they're all good um this you know now the challenge put before us was okay you, you did this you got it started and you got this behavior going inside the community what are you going to do with it what are you going to do with it what's the next level to take this to and we really think um the, the people that we've put together working closely with ethan and the, and the folks at latchell as well as our you know, other sponsors that we've gotten involved as well as the speakers we've been talking to. This is, this is different. This is a different, completely different kind of event um, that's really gonna be transformative in the way that maybe people felt the early PM grows were in terms of changing their business. We think this is, um, this is that kind of an event. When I started Latchel a few years ago, there was one thing I heard from someone, I was a, in a, a kind of mastermind group session I would do these all the time. And there was this one instance, this one week, it was 60 seconds of the speaker talking directly to me. And he said, Ethan, if that's the way you're thinking about scaling your business, you will fail. You need to think about it as a 5X monthly, and that's going to enable you to build the right systems to scale. This is like a three month mastermind I did. And it was that 60 seconds, that one comment that completely transformed my business. PM Grow is going to be filled with potential moments for you to have that one gem takeaway that makes the transformative difference on your business and enables all of the growth and scalability and profits you're ever going to want. And PM Grow is going to be filled with this so you're probably going to walk, walk away with a lot more than a single gem. You're going to walk away with handfuls and it's going to make a transformational difference on the next year of your growth. I love that because the gem is different for each business. It's not like everyone takes a gem and then they plug it into their business and on they go. It's different. Like your gem would not have probably worked with a different company. Um, and so I think that's the whole point of PM Grow. It's like we have all these ideas uh, for the taking. And then when something hits, it's like, yes, you take it home, you apply it to your business, and then it actually does something. Um, and then and you know that when you heard it, something in you shifted and you knew that was the difference maker for the next year. 100%. Yeah, that, that, that's really it. You know, I mean, look at, look at us. This is all changing, right? This entire remote world that we live in now, right? Work life is, is you, we're not getting time to get ready. It's happening. It's happening right now. And it's shifting in this kind of networked relationship, Zoom relationships. We all have to learn quickly and on our feet. And we don't normally, right? We haven't taken a lot of time to step back, think about it and say, what are going to be the constructs that matter going forward? That's what this is. And you're, you're absolutely right, Marie. For every single property manager, it's going to be a different moment or a different key point. And the idea is to get a lot of different flavors in there, a lot of different messaging around things you can work on, um, behaviors, techniques, strategies going forward. Um, that's what's going to happen at the event. That's great. And so uh, to our listeners, if you are as excited as we are about PM Grow Summit 2022, make sure you register while tickets are still available. Go to pmgrowsummit.com to get your ticket today. Thank you so much, Michael and Ethan, for your time talking a little bit about PM Grow. We're super excited for this show that you are cooking together. And we look forward to hearing back from you with more updates in the future. 100%. Can't wait to see you there, Ethan. It's going to be good. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a good time. <laughs>